there guys, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. And if you're a returning friend, then thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about my Whole30 experience. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but wait, it's not even the end of January. How can you be explaining, you know, how, how do you have any anything to share with us on your Whole30 experience? Well, let me just tell you, the Whole30 died for me pretty quickly. Um, and I'm gonna explain to you why. And originally I thought, <gasps> I can't possibly share this with people. Like, I failed. I didn't stick with it. I, I didn't follow through with what I said I was going to do. But then I realized, you know what? No, because I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with my friends. I'm going to be honest with my subscribers. I was honest with myself. So why would I not share with other people? So here's the lowdown on what happened. I started the Whole30 on January 1st of this year, and I made it through January 4th. So I did four days of the Whole30. And then I decided this is not for me. And this is why it is not for me. On the Whole30, you are cutting out dairy, grains, alcohol, which I don't really drink very often anyway, and sugar. Sugar being the one that I knew I really needed to just cut from my diet. Um, but the purpose of the Whole30, the primary purpose, as I understand it, is that you are trying to identify um, things within your diet that you might have a significant sensitivity to that might be affecting you in a, a, a negative way. Maybe it causes you to have anxiety. Maybe it causes you to have acne. Maybe you have trouble sleeping. The list can go on and on and on. Um, there are people who have very significant um, health issues that when they do the Whole30, they're able to pinpoint and say, look, this this is a problem for me. Um, I have, in the past, I have cut out all of these things from my diet before and then reintroduced them back in. And I know that I do not have any significant sensitivities or intolerances to any of these items. Now, I do know that they don't make me feel my best, but you know, I think that anything like that in excess is going to make you feel pretty crummy. So going into this, I never really felt like my heart was just like in it. I felt like I needed a change and I wasn't really sure what to do in order to make that change happen. And so the Whole30 was like, eh, we'll give this a try. But the Whole30, you guys, is hard. Let me just tell you, it is hard. It's hard. Did I mention that it's hard? Yes, it is hard. If you are not 1000% committed to this from day one, you're not going to make it. And I wasn't. I was not committed to this. I was doing it because I didn't know what else to try. Does that make sense? So because I was not committed to it, I was miserable. I could not see like the end in sight. I, I just, I didn't have a goal. I didn't really have a reason why I was doing this other than I knew I needed to cleanse my body a little bit from some of the bad things that I had been eating. And that's what I did for four days. I did not allow myself to have any of the things that you're not supposed to have. I basically ate protein, vegetables, and fruit. And that was it. That's all I had for four days. And it did its job. Like I came out on the other side of those four days. I do not have the sugar cravings. Now, granted, some people, it, some people, I'm sure it does take them 30 days to really kick those addictions and to kick those habits. It really wasn't as hard for me. Um, I previously had done something last year that was kind of the same, um, you know, kind of the same process. And it took me three days at that point. Um, so I really just, for me, it's habit and I need to break the habits. And once I do, I'm fine. I need to, I needed to reintroduce the healthy foods back into my diet because <laughs> can I just say something really embarrassing to you guys? I'm not sure I ate a single piece of fruit in the month of December. No lie. That's embarrassing but that's real. Um, I needed to reintroduce those good things back into my body and into my diet so that my, my body could go, hey, we really like oranges. Why haven't we been eating them? We really like apples. These are yummy. Let's have some more of these. And so that's what I did. 
I reintroduced all of the good things back into my system, into my diet. I started feeling better. I started feeling more awake and more alive and more focused. And that was pretty much it. That was, that was my purpose going into the whole 30. Now, after four days, I was pretty miserable. I was, I was feeling alive and awake and focused, but I was always, I was also like, I really want to enjoy coffee again. Like this is ridiculous. So I decided to call it quits on the whole 30 and immediately, like even before my next meal, once my mind switched and I said, I'm done with the whole 30, I know how to eat. I know how to eat properly. I know how to eat nutritiously. Immediately my spirits were lifted even before the next meal. I mean, I made this decision like in the afternoon and that night for dinner, I could have eaten anything I wanted to. I could have eaten enchiladas if I wanted to, but I didn't. You know what I had? I had a salad. I had a salad, you guys. And that's what I truly wanted. My body wanted a salad. I didn't want enchiladas. I didn't want to put that junk back in my body. So I didn't. And since then, I have allowed myself to have one small brownie. Um, and to be honest with you, it wasn't even that good. Like, I, I don't want to knock my daughter's cooking. My daughter loves making brownies and she's great at it. It just, we build ourselves up to something and then you have it and you're like, that's it? Like, it was way better in my mind than it actually was in real life. So yeah, I'm back to eating the way that I was in the fall um, as far as I am counting my macros again. If you're really not sure what that is, I don't want to do, I don't want to get into all of that in this video. It could become a very lengthy video. This one is really just going to be talking more about my Whole30 experience um, and not talking about macros. Um, bottom line, when it, what it all boils down to is I know how to eat in order to fuel my body. Um, I have very specific training goals and the Whole30, it even um, is outlined in the book. It is the Whole30 diet is not recommended for athletes who are in their training period. It is if you are an athlete and you are considering doing the Whole30, it's recommended that you do this during your off season. Um, and right now I am looking to uh, increase the intensity of my workouts, not kind of stay stagnant, not, you know, kind of go easy on myself. I'm looking to increase strength and lose weight and become a, a stronger and more healthy person. Therefore, I need more to fuel my body in order to meet those goals. And since those goals are far more important to me than accomplishing the Whole30, I scrapped it. I said, you know what? That's not something that's really important to me. I'm letting that go and I'm focusing on the bigger picture. I'm focusing on the bigger goal that I have for myself, which is, like I said, gaining strength and improving the health of me. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I will let you know moving forward, basically what my diet consists of is lean meats, Occasionally I eat red meat, but it's it's pretty rare. Not even every week do I eat red meat. Just not because I don't think that it's good for you, but because my body doesn't handle it as well. Um, I am eating vegetables, fruits. I'm staying away from sugar for the most part. Now, if I go to a birthday party and they have cupcakes, I might eat one. If I if my daughter makes brownies, I might have a little bite or a small small piece. Um, I'm not going to deprive myself of the joy and, and you know that can come from small things like that but I'm not going to indulge in it excessively. Um, I am going to be eating grains. I'm going to be eating whole grains and rice, sweet potatoes. I will have white potatoes as well um, but really I'm just I, I am limiting the amount of dairy. I'm not cutting it out completely, but I'm not having it in excess because it does make me feel a little bit icky um, and it makes me fat. So let's just be honest there. Um, and sugar, I already said sugar, but I am using stevia in my coffee because I don't like black coffee. I prefer to use stevia. So I think that that pretty much covers everything that I'm having at this point. I'm trying to increase my water intake, which I already mentioned to you guys in my um, goals for 2017 video. So that's pretty much it. That's what my diet consists of. I will be doing some videos for you, kind of doing a what I eat in a day um, style of video 
if that is something that you guys would be interested in seeing, if that is something that you feel would be beneficial or encouraging or motivating to you in some way, let me know. I'll be happy to share. But other than that, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. I very much appreciate all of your support and your loving comments. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Just let me know kind of what you're up to. Just just say hi. If you've never said hi to, to me on any of my videos, if you've never commented, take the time and comment down below. Just, just a quick hi. Say hey. How are you? How are you doing? Um, I would, it, I just really enjoy getting to know you guys. And so it amazes me that people who have watched my channel for a year or longer will say, hey, I've never commented on any of your videos, but my name is Jill or my name is Jim Bob or, you know, whatever. I just think, wow, that's so cool. I'm so glad that you finally felt comfortable enough that you could, you know, share something. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another video for you. And until then, I hope that you're all very, very well and that you're very blessed. Take care, guys.